Hi, I'm Craig. Welcome to the battery shop. The battery in this Tesla Model 3 is located right here under the hood. It's fairly easy to get to. Because this is an electric vehicle, there's a few extra steps that you'll need to follow. For that reason, we recommend that you consult with your manufacturer's step-by-step -step instructions to make sure that you're familiar with the project, you have everything you need, you don't forget anything, and you can safely and efficiently replace the battery in a Tesla like this. Here's how it's done. The first step is to power off the climate control system. This can be done from the touchscreen. Touch the bottom left corner, touch the power button, and now you can confirm that it is off by noting that the numbers are not lit up. Wait at least 30 seconds for the climate control system to completely shut down. Then make sure the vehicle is in park and fully lower all door windows to avoid glass shatter and door lockout conditions. The next step is to open the left hand and right hand rear doors and then pass a shop towel halfway through each door striker to prevent the latch from securing. And then remove the second row lower seat cushion. The next step is to remove the underhood rear apron. and then power off the vehicle. This can be done by using the touchscreen, touching controls, safety and security, then power vehicle, and then power off. Now we can remove the cabin intake duct. With gloves and safety glasses on, loosen the nut that attaches the 12 volt battery negative cable to the battery. You'll need your 10 millimeter wrench for that. And then disconnect the cable from the battery. The next step is to remove the foam cover from the right hand side of the penthouse. And then disconnect the electrical harness from the high voltage controller connector. Note that the high voltage battery positive connector and negative connector open with a clunk sound. Next, remove the cover for the 12 volt positive terminal and then loosen the nut that attaches the positive lead to the battery. You'll need your 10 millimeter wrench for this. And then remove the lead from the battery and wrap a towel around to prevent contact with any metal from the vehicle. Next, remove the bolt that attaches the 12 volt battery upper tie down bracket to the AC compressor bracket. You'll need your 10 millimeter wrench for that. And then lift the strap up, unhook it from the rear tie down strap, and remove the strap from the vehicle. Then, remove the 12 volt battery vent hose from the side of the 12 volt battery. Now we can remove the old 12 volt battery. And install the replacement battery. Now we can reinstall the 12 volt battery upper tie down bracket and tighten the fastener. It's always a good idea to clean up any corrosion on your battery terminals. And cable connections.
Next, reinstall the positive lead onto the positive terminal of the battery. But don't pound these clamps on, as that can cause internal battery damage. And tighten the fastener. Then, reconnect the 12 volt battery vent hose into the side of the battery and check the hose for any cracks or damage. Be sure to install the vent plug into the side of the battery opposite the vent hose tube. This can be done after the battery has been installed. The vent plug should come with your battery. The next step is to reinstall the electrical harness into the high voltage controller connector. and then reinstall the foam cover into the right-hand side of the penthouse. Then reinstall the 12-volt battery negative cable onto the battery's terminal and tighten the fastener. Then we can reinstall the cabin intake duct and underhood rear apron. At this point, your vehicle should be powered back on. If not, put your foot on the brake pedal. And we're done.